Hello everybody, it's Tito Miner and welcome back to the second part of making a sliding puzzle game in Unity. In this part, we are going to make the tiles movement a little smoother because you can see if I click on a tile, it will jump to the empty space position. But we want a smooth movement. So let's start. We have to create a script for our puzzle tiles. So let's create a C sharp script, name it tiles script and open it in here remove these two commented lines also these usings in here our tiles has a variable public vector to uh, target position and let's make it a vector tree this vector tree is where the puzzle tile should go in the update let's write transform dot position equals to vector tree dot lerp uh, vector tree dot lerp moves an object to another point smoothly so the start point is transform dot position the destination is target position and the third value is how much of the distance between these two points you want the object to go in one frame the minimum value is zero and the maximum is one if I write one in here it will go to the destination in one frames and if I write half in here it will go half of the distance between these two points every frame let's write for example 0 0.05 this will move our puzzle tile to target position smooth so here we okay let's run the game and see what happens so all of the puzzle tiles and give this tile script to them uh, play the game and you can see all of them comes at the center of the screen why because this target position is zero 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 so they will come to the zero 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 position so in the start we have to write target position equals to transform dot position it goes to transform dot position okay so at the start our target position is equal to the position they are in now so if we run the game you can see nothing happens okay it's good let's click on one of our tiles you can see it returns to its position because we changed the position not the target position so let's go to the game script in here you can see here we changed the position but we have to change the target position of the tiles script so let's create a variable in here tile script this tile it equals to get uh, it equals to hit dot transform dot get component we get the tile script component from the tile that we clicked on then we're going to move this empty space to the uh, this tile dot target position and we're going to change the target position of the tile to the last empty space position so in here we have to write this tile the target position now save it and let's uh, return to the unity and play the game okay let's click on this you can see it moves smoothly it works good okay then our puzzle tiles are in the correct position like now we're going to make them green uh, so the player can see they are in the correct position to do that just go to the tiles a script in here in the update we have to write another variable in here it, it can be private vector tree it equal its correct position and in the start we're going to write correct position is equals transform dot position or it's equals to target position because 
target position is equal to put transform that position. We can write transform that position two in here. Both of them works. So let's in update. Let's write a condition if target position equals the correct position. So it means our tile is in the correct position. So we're ha we have to make the puzzle a sprite green. How to do that? First, we need to write private a sprite renderer. We need the sprite renderer in here in the start we say a sprite equals to get component we get the sprite renderer component and in here if it's in the right position we're going to make it green how let's write a sprite dot color it equals to color dot green sorry and color it, the color of the sprite becomes green and if it's not in the correct position else a sprite dot color equals color dot white okay save the script and let's play the game and see what happens now we can see all of them are green because they are in their correct position but if i click on one of them and move it you can see it becomes white at me i mean it returns to its original color i'm going to finish this video in here i wanted to create a shuffle system in this part but i'm going to do it in a, a separate part because that's a little hard and confusing and that takes time so if you learned anything and liked the video press the like button and subscribe my youtube channel if you have any question, ask it in the comments. See you in the next video.